Once you're ready to cook, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then line a large baking sheet with foil and place a cooling rack over top. Coat lightly with cooking spray and set aside. In a large, deep fry pan, heat about an inch or so of oil over medium-high heat until it reaches 375 degrees Fahrenheit. There should be enough oil in the pan so it reaches at least halfway up the food that you're cooking. Remove the chicken from the marinade and coat with the seasoned flour. You can do this with your fingers, but I find using a pair of tongs makes it much cleaner and easier. Using a deep fry thermometer, test the oil to see that it's at 375 degrees. If the oil starts to smoke at all, just turn the heat down slightly. Gently lay each piece into the fry pan, skin side down. Before coating the next piece of chicken, shake the bowl of flour to even it out. As you add each piece to the oil, you may have to increase the heat slightly as the cold chicken will bring down the temperature. Keep an eye on the oil. It should always have a nice rumbling bubble. Once all the pieces have been dredged in the flour, place your baking sheet next to the fry pan. Clean your tongs, but be sure to dry them completely before inserting them back into the oil. You'll get the best color on the first side, so don't be tempted to turn them over too soon. Depending on the different hot spots in your pan, some pieces may take longer to brown than others. Once all the chicken has been turned over and each piece is fully golden, remove from the oil and place onto the rack. I like to place the smaller pieces together so I can easily remove those from the oven once they're cooked. Bake for approximately 10 to 15 minutes or until the thickest part of the chicken is cooked through. Cut into one of the largest pieces, like this. It should no longer be pink in the middle. Serve immediately. This chicken pairs well with smashed sweet potatoes and black beans with smoked salsa, but it's also a great dish to serve family style.